Hey guys, living with 3M auto vlogging, and we're fixing to discuss code scanners, code readers, basically for the OBD2. OBD2 is onboard diagnostic. There was an OBD1 years ago. I think that's obsolete now. Uh, they're trying to come out with OBD3. We won't even get into that crap. So basically, OBD2, onboard diagnostics, your vehicle, every vehicle has this. And a little port underneath the dash, we're gonna plug a code reader. It's right here. Get one of these. If you don't have one, you can go to AutoZone. They will do it for you. But I wanted the option of doing this in my driveway. There's the part number for the one I have. I think this was 50, 60 bucks. They have more expensive ones, a lot more expensive ones. And mine tells you the code that the vehicle is experiencing trouble with, but it does not tell you how to fix it. It just says P. O 300 P O 304. And then basically we use Google to look everything up. Pops has a 2001 Ford Ranger came to me this morning, said our code is back or our check engine light is back. So I'm like, let me get the code reader. We'll go back out and see what it is. Everybody should own one of these just for themselves. So they don't have to take it to somebody. So if you ladies and gentlemen ever wondered, just how do I read this? What does it do? How do I plug it in? We're keeping it simple in today's video. If y'all have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting on? I mean, really guys, come on, help your boy out. All right, so basically Pop's complaint is, we got a check engine light. Yeah, he's left the keys in here for me. All right, so we're gonna put the key in the ignition, turn it to battery, and you're gonna notice over in the left-hand corner, that's the infamous check engine light. And most people just don't know how to react when that thing pops up. As you guys can see on my lap here, I have the Actron scanner code reader. And I want you to look right here. See that port right there above the brake pedal? And you gotta plug it in the correct way. It's designed to go only one way. As soon as you plug it up, you're gonna see it lights up. So it powers on by itself. So it says pocket scan. Okay, so we're just gonna hit the read button. Tells you you have one code. It's got a down arrow that you wanna push this. So it's gonna read the code for you. P0304. So I write that down or take a picture of it and we're gonna Google search the cause and the remedy for this code. The other nice thing about having this code scanner is see that erase button right there? That's exactly what we're gonna do because I know the PO304, I already know that that's a misfire on cylinder four and it's gonna require possibly a new fuel injector and that's gonna be another video. We're gonna go ahead and erase. So guys, this is what you do. All right, switch is still on. You hit erase once, erase twice. I'm sorry. You're supposed to hold the erase button down, Mike. Keep on, keep on. You'll find your ass sitting at the Dodge dealership. Hold it down. You hold down the erase button. And now it asks you to confirm that erase. And you hold it down again. Done. All right, now it still shows check engine light. This shows done. I'll hit read just to see zero code so it erased it okay, even though the light is up here what we're going to do is unplug we're going to turn the vehicle off we're going to turn it back on had to crank it and the code is clear it seems to be running fine with the 304 code it just has a misfire ever so often. We've changed spark plugs, but we're gonna look at that fuel injector. That's another possible cause of it. All right, guys, that's gonna conclude the video today. My objective in this video was to get you familiar with what a code reader scanner is. I mean, basically uh, how to plug it up, how to go through the buttons and what the buttons actually do. All right, guys, that's gonna conclude the tour. Okay, guys, that's gonna do it, man. Uh, I've got a wide selection of videos. Man, can't even read my own damn sheep. Look at this. Can't even read my own sheep. What in the hell's the world coming to? <laughs> Anyhow, y'all know the drill. Catch y'all on the next vid.